Hi, today what we're going to do is these two types of weld neck flange. We have the class 150 and PN16. Okay, first we do this class 150 flange. We have the dimensions here. Okay, change the view to front view and the working plane to right plane. Okay, and then make circle with a diameter of 108 units. Okay, and then another circle with a diameter of 50 units. This one. And then let's move this circle by 2 units. Then copy this by 12 units. And then make line for this 29 units. Make line from this quadrant. 29 units. And then make circle from the center with a diameter of 33 units. And then move this by 41 units. By 41, this is 31 and this is 10. So this is 41 units. And then copy by 10 units. Okay, and then make circle from the center until this endpoint. Okay, so now we have to loft these two circles from here to here and then press pull. Use the press pull command for the circle until this quadrant and then the circle until this endpoint and then the circle until this center. Okay. So we finished the side view. Now we have to do the front view. Make line from this center point till here. Change the working plane to front view. Make circle with a diameter of 108 units. Go to front view. Make circle with a diameter of 27 units. And then make line. From this quadrant, 6 units, make circle here with a diameter of 16 units, this one. Move this circle from this quadrant to this endpoint. And then use the array command, array polar, select the circle, enter, and then click this center point. The number of items is only four units for items okay and now we have to change the view we have to rotate this one 3d rotate enter and then this from this axis okay and now we have to move this one by 100 units and then use the shell command go to solid shell and then select the object and then select this area and then this area enter offset distance of three units okay and then move and then move to its original location 100 units now press pull this one the circles Okay, and then use the subtract command SU, enter, select our flange, enter, and then select these 3D objects, enter. Okay, so this is our weld neck flange class 150. Okay, let's remove this one. Now we will do now this weld neck flange PN16. Okay, so make line from the center anywhere somewhere here. Go to home, change the plane to front view, and then the working plane to right plane. 
okay now make circle with a diameter of 150 and then another circle with a diameter of 68 units and then move the circle by two units this is the two units and then this is the 68 copy this circle by 14 units this one and then make line this 35 units make line from this quadrant down 35 units okay and then make circle with a diameter of 38 and then 35 okay from this center point make circle with a diameter of 38 and then move that circle by three units move by three units and then another circle with a diameter of 35 units circle diameter of 35 units and then move this by 10 units okay and then now make line from this quadrant to this quadrant and then we will fillet these two lines with the radius of four units this one okay use the fillet command f and then radius four units and then select the two lines enter and then we have to join these two lines click and then j for join okay and then the next command is revolve revolve command and then select this spline enter and then from this center point to the center point and then type 360 degrees okay now we have to press for this from here to this circle and then this circle until this circle okay and then for this one this is surface we have to use the ticken command type ticken ticken and then select this surface enter and then thickness of five units okay this is the side view we have to make the front view go to front view this is the front view make circle with a diameter of 115 units and then circle diameter of 25 units make line from here 8 units this one and diameter of 14 units diameter 14 move the circle from this quadrant until this endpoint and then use the array command array polar select the circle enter and then use the center the center point of the circle the number of items is only four units okay and then we, we can delete this line now and then rotate this from this axis okay and now press pull okay and now use the subtract command and then select our flange enter and now select the 3d objects enter okay now we have to remove the excess 2d lines this one and then so this is our pn16 to make it more presentable use the mat material browser and then let's try this ionized blue gray for this plus 150 and dark bronze for this pn16 dark gray this one 
Okay, so this is our final design for the weld neck flange class 150 and weld neck flange PN16. Please like this video and remember to subscribe to my channel for more 3D tutorial videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.